As we come into the Christmas season, and indeed the new year, one of the things that has struck me <laughs> very much in the light of Black Friday, the Friday following Thanksgiving, is the level of craziness, I would call it, that people have, uh, have demonstrated, shoppers have demonstrated in the uh, Black Friday sales. I, I can't remember growing up this being a significant thing in, in my life, if at all. I understand that Black Friday sales come from the United States. I mean, I'd heard about, or I'm familiar with the Boxing Day sales and the New Year's sales in January. But the Black Friday sales are a new one to me, of recent times at least. And certainly watching the news coverage in my local area where I'm currently living, it was just amazing to see how desperate people were to get their hands on some of the bargains that the retail retailers were selling. I mean, I, I was watching one YouTube clip from, from this current year where there was a lady who was grabbing hold of a, a, a television that had been reduced, I don't know by how much, and she was holding on to this television and somebody else, two other people were holding the television and they were pulling it away from her and, and they were holding the top of the TV and she was being dragged along just trying to keep a hold of this television. It was just incredible. There were people screaming and shouting and all manner of insults were being, were being thrown at each other in this desperate need to get hold of, of these bargains. Listening to the radio following the Black Friday sales on the Monday as it happened, one shopper who had come out of the store with a particular electronic item um, was asked by a, 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 an interviewer, he said, oh, what did you get? And he told him it was a particular electronic good. And he said, is that what you wanted? He said, well, no, not really. I didn't want it, but it was just cheap, so I bought it. And I thought, how crazy is it that people do this? You know, <laughs> For these Black Friday sales, people were queuing throughout the night. Um, stores were opening at 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning, and they were, you know, 5, 6, 7, 10 people deep, just rushing into the stores, trying to get their hands on a bargain, desperate to get the latest cheap television or electronic good. J just absolutely incredible. And, and whilst things were bad in the United Kingdom, I understand that in the United States where this Black Friday tradition of sales has originated, it, it's been even more, well, these sales have even had tragic uh, consequences. In 2008, the story was told, true story is told of, of a young man who was working in, the, in, in one of the Walmart stores, uh, Dimitai Damore, a big chap, um, stood six foot five, weighed near 270 pounds, I understood. The people were so desperate to get their hands on the bargains that when the doors were opened, well, they, they didn't even open, they were crashed in, the, the glass was shattered. This gentleman, one of the store workers, a temporary store worker, was trampled to death. As big and as strong as he was, people were so desperate to get the bargains that they trampled uh, they, they trampled him to death. And, and, the, and it got worse than this. When, of course, they found him and, and, and his death was announced, this was, you know, in the early hours of the morning at around 6 a.m., an announcement was put out in the store in which he, he had died, that the, the, the store was closing because there was a death and so on and so forth. People actually objected that they had to leave the store stating they had been there from 5 a.m. in the morning or whatever and they want to take their goods with them. This, this desperation to get our hands on the latest things just also shows to me not only the, 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 the power of consumerism, it also shows how much we value things over people. And, and, and that people are relegated to nothing. So we will trample over somebody, we will curse somebody, we will fight with somebody, as occurred at Black Friday, sales, Black Friday sales in the UK, we will fight somebody because we value things more than we value people. It's a tragic state of affairs that we find ourselves in today. But I share this 
because we do need to exhibit some desperation. But not desperation where we're fighting after getting things, but desperation, I believe, where we are desperate to be in the presence of God and to be in his presence for a life transforming effect. I'm reminded of a story, uh, one of my favorite stories, in fact, and it's in the Gospel of Mark. Uh, found in chapter 2, and I'd just like to read a few verses from there. And it reads from Mark chapter 2, verse 1. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. Some men came bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat, and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. In this story, we see a man, a paralyzed man, carried by his four friends, who was so desperate to be with Jesus. He put being in the presence of Jesus, he gave that as such a priority that it, he, he, he risked getting a bill for breaking up a man's roof, destroyed, made an opening in somebody's roof so that he could get and be lowered into the presence of Jesus. I mean, that story truly shows how desperate somebody was to be in the presence of Jesus. He put being in the presence of Jesus of greater value than destroying somebody's roof or the cost that would might come to him of repairing that homeowner's roof. And it seems to me that as we go into the new year, as we go into the Christmas period, we are going to be continually bombarded with buy, consume, acquire. But really, the greatest desperation we should be having is not about getting things off store shelves, but the desperation, like this paralyzed man, to be in the presence of Jesus. But beyond that, we should also, as Seventh-day Adventist Christians throughout the British Isles, we should also be desperate to see our neighbors, to see our friends, to see our work colleagues also come to a knowledge and come into the presence of Jesus also. You see, we should be desperate to see our loved ones find Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And so as we move through the Christmas season and as we go into the new year, you know, one of my pledges for this year, it's a continual pledge, I know, but one of my pledges for this year is that I am going to be continually lifting my friends, my neighbors, my next door neighbors, people I know who don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I, I am desperate for them to come to a knowledge of him as well. And so this year, I don't want to be just, or, or as we move into the new year, I don't just want to be chasing things. In fact, I don't want to chase things at all. I want to be desperate to be in the presence of Jesus desperate to see my friends, to see my neighbors, to see my colleagues, to see everybody who I come across come to a knowledge of our Lord and Savior. 2015 is, is going to be a power, is going to, is, is a powerful year. It's, it's going to be a, a, a quite momentous year for so many reasons. We have the general conference session where a leadership of the world church is going to and there is going to be uh, uh, nominated and appointed. Uh, there are some big issues that are going to be dealt with at that general conference session. But one of the focuses that we have throughout the year of 2015 is the focus on evangelism, the focus on making Jesus known. And I pray that this year we would be desperate to make Jesus known from our churches, from our own individual lives, make Jesus known in our communities. Let's show that we are desperate not to acquire things, but we are desperate that people would know Jesus because we value people and we value people's soul salvation more than anything else. So I wish you all and all the members and all family and friends in the British Isles, in the British Union Conference, a blessed Christmas, a happy new year, and let us be desperate to introduce people to our Savior Jesus.